Good afternoon and welcome to some console side of things. My name is FDOT, his name's Adonis, and you're watching the European SCL qualifiers. Interesting PC side of things though today, Cringe Crew, bringing it back. That was a, a really good set. Um, obviously, Fnatic had control of it for most of the time, but uh, Cringe Crew holding out, and I mm -hmm. think they have a, a lot to work on. Uh, I think both teams have a lot to work on, but I think there's a... A lot of potential coming out from both those squads. We'll have to see, honestly, if they can try, uh, challenge the top two right. in Europe by the end of the year. But it is going to be Barrage taking on BM. Let's take a quick look at the bracket and see how these teams got here. Yeah, you know, and I, I, I led the uh, conversation with the, the bringing up of the PC side of things because Fnatic is really starting to come together. Uh, weeks one, they weren't really all there, and they're starting to gel. And as you take a look at the console league qualifiers, that's exactly what we're seeing out of these teams as well. Barrage taking on BM, as we said, and then Rival and Cleanup Crew on the bottom side of things and these teams have some teams have been together for a long time but most of these teams sort of saw console league qualifiers all right let's make a team let's get together so they've had like a couple they've had maybe a month or so uh before the qualifiers actually started together and now we're actually seeing them ramp up so we're going to get into the picks and bands and see where each team if the teams have landed on identities or if they're just going to be picking in meta team bm on the left and barrage on the right uh, Barrage coming up with the first two weeks of console qualifiers uh, victories. I believe it was two of both times. Um, so we'll see how Team BM can stack up to them. Uh, Soul going to be banned away by BM. Odin going to be banned away by Barrage. I do expect to see a Guan Yu either banned out or picked here very quickly. Um, very strong god on console. Right, just a strong god in general. And Oh man, pick Guan, man. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I, don't, I don't know if it's valued that much. Team B, uh, first pick one, you definitely not a bad look um, anywhere. It will be the Athena, however. Team BM selecting their support right away. Pretty low win rate uh, for Athena. Mm -hmm. I believe she had two yesterday, uh, and I think she was at like uh, one win, six losses wow. through the first week. So uh, looking at the PC side, so really rough. Uh, Kronos continues to be a top tier pick in both console and PC. It's going to be locked in. Could either go to the Hunter roll or mid. We've seen both uh, both be successful. The gap, however, will likely just be in that support spot. I like this. Yeah, very, very strong start for Barrage. As Kevin mentioned earlier, they've been really dominant, so looking to continue their reign of terror. As Thor is selected on Team BM, so a whole lot of globals. And Giannis just... <laughs> what were, what were you saying? We said a whole lot of globals. That's, yeah. that's four globals on the board right now. You looking at me, right? Guess what's going to happen in the soul lane? He's going to buy a teleport. It's going to be four <laughs> globals. What soul lane yeah. does not buy teleport outside of like a mage? Variety. Which, I mean, now Kong's banned out. Variety. Uh, Guan, you going to be picked up. Uh, I like this. Not surprised to see it picked mm -hmm. up in this situation. Guan, you providing so much healing. And that's the thing, right? Team BM, they definitely have uh, this mobility composition going on. There's a lot of gank potential. A lot of I'm going to pick you off and kill you potential. But Barrage, there's a lot of sustain. Not only the Kronos with his rewind, but also Geb coming in with the shields, able to keep his team alive. And Guan Yu, able to reset fights, heal up. Uh, and also, he's just a, a warrior. So he's going to be very tanky. Now, the Hades ban over here is interesting because Hades by it, Hades definitely does see a little bit more showing on the console side of things. It's just really PC. good against Guan. Uh, but it, it's good against Guan. And also, these teams are... The, we're looking at two established teams here, mm -hmm. uh, guys. Even though this is open bracket, this is towards the end. This, we're in the semifinals. So, Team BM and Barrage, both of these squads, they're, they're people that they scrim against each other. These are well-known. So, there is a Hades player on the side of Team BM. So, Barrage, sort of just blanket statement. It's good against Guan. You're good at it. Just leave it alone. Yeah, I think Kaji is the the soul inner for BM. Mm -hmm. uh, some a very notable Hades player. Honestly, coming up with the some big ultimates in in, in the last couple weeks, we've seen him. So oh, yeah, uh, I mean, game changing ultimate. So I, I I do like that target fan away. Medusa gonna be locked in for Barrage. Uh, not only a a very strong god in her own right, but also uh, don't really want Team BM to kind of pair that up. You can see the Athena Medusa combo a little bit too deadly. BM though, uh, they're gonna be using Bologna to match up against the Guan Yu and. J Okay. So, so much Shibalanke. On, okay. On so much Shibalanke. And we saw this a lot in Season 2 on PC, and it had less to do with what I'm going to talk about and more about uh, the meta and everything uh, with buffs, etc. But basically, Shibalanke succeeds in a situation where teams understand what they need to do, but the execution might not all be there because the ultimate really throws off initiation. So what happens is on, on the side of console, where, or at least in European console scene, where these teams are a little bit newer, uh, Shibalanke ultimate will really rattle some of the initiations and maybe screw up what Barrage actually has planned. 
uh, Fenrir going to be the jungler for Barrage. And Barrage, they're going to have to fight, like you said, into the Jablanque, the Darkest of Nights, very potent team fighting ultimate. Um, mm -hmm. One of the only reasons we actually saw him picked up uh, in Season 2, and, and Allied can attest to this because this was one of his two gods, basically, he said, <laughs> uh, is... You know, it doesn't really matter as long as I don't feed in the early game and the other hunter doesn't get far ahead of me. Just the Blanc Ale is so useful. It's, mm -hmm. it, it is a game-changing ultimate. You, you're locked to a vision range that is only uh, very close to you. And uh, the other team kind of just can't fight. It's like exactly. you can't fight properly as a team. Yeah, you have to wind up second-guessing all of your initiations at that point. Because if you do go in and then the lights go out, what do you do? Uh, it's going to be Predators in the soul lane, excuse me, not Kaji. Uh, he'll be playing the Bologna up against uh, Watson. And Watson, uh, known as the best player on the console, at least in the European side. And he has proven that the past couple of weeks with uh, his phenomenal play. Yeah, he's, he's been pretty much off the charts. Mr. Mr. Turtle. Mr. Turtle. Yo, what a name. I like that name. Yo, got Xbox the has the best names. Starting off with Curse. A lot of people... Curse is... Controversial is probably too heavy-handed of a word, but a lot of people just say, why not just get Sprint instead? Uh, so here's the thing. Curse has uses, and I like Curse, and it's going to be useful against the Guan Yu. Right. But at least buying it first is, if the other team has Sprint, it is literally a useless active. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it is just completely useless because they're immune to slows. It also breaks the slow... And it's just like, what's going to happen? And that's exactly what Geb has. You know, I saw as we got into this, the way the players were aligned, and I wasn't sure if this was actually how everybody was going to land. But Kronos finds himself in the duel lane. And we have Medusa pulling a Yamin, uh, taking a card out of Yamin's playbook, and playing the Medusa middle lane. So interesting compositions here, or at least placements here on the side of Barrage. A lot of kill puts are coming out from Medusa Fenrir, which uh, against the Thorianis, mm -hmm. uh, and you can already see, right, they have pressure in the mid lane. Uh, Team BM very scared of this. Red Pot Fenrir as well. Uh, so I do expect them to kind of be uh, forced out here early, and that should allow the Medusa and, and Fenrir to farm very efficiently. Same story in the long lane, as Kronos and Gab are just pushing on this Shibalaki athena combo. So much clear on the side of Kronos and Gab, and, well, Shibalaki is uh, he probably the last one. He can't clear. Like, Cupid uh, especially, he also, he also had... Uh, his poison darts nerfed recently, so they're not as strong. Or right. not, I guess not recently now, but uh, a number of months ago. And you can see, uh, honestly, Slap Hatter trying to focus on the poke uh, mostly, but Barrage not really taking advantage of, of their uh, lane lead here. But look at this, Finrear, he's rotating over, and I think that's it. They don't want to, yep. they want to bait, they want to bait BM further into this lane. You can see Finrear, Lycan, waiting in the corners. He's, as they Team have no pushes idea. up, yeah, no clue at all that the Fender is coming around the corner. No ultimates to speak of, but there is a stun. The damage is going to be strong on the Shibalanke, and Barrage waits out the dash and picks up the first blood. Uh, really nice play coming out there from Lycan. Uh, probably could have came underneath as well instead of the kill, but taking a little bit of riskier path. Yep. Right-hand side in the meantime, Predators and Watson, they're going to be uh, battling it out. Uh, we, we've seen this from all soul laners where it's just uh, a slap fight all game, but Watson actually electing to use his clear to try and outpoke Predators, who just laughs it off. Oh There's no. Ultimate, and this might be problems for Predators. He jumps away at the last moment, but the dash of the Tallow, too strong. No. Uh, actually, Predators what? able to juke out the Tallow Assault. Watson can't follow him, and yeah, that was a good fight as you get here, <laughs> coming up from Bologna, uh, barely escaping death. Yeah, that was, that was rough, honestly. You take a look at Watson and where he's at. Uh, you know, starter builds right now, so not a lot of power to really help him confirm that kill. So Bologna lives on with a sliver of HP. And both soul agents will back, and they're both teleport. That's, that's, that's it's the global boss, man. Yeah. I, I wanted to see if they would go, well, you know, we don't have to teleport. <laughs> no, they have to teleport. <laughs> they have to teleport. It's too much, uh, it's too important to lose pressure. Uh, Predators, you can see, only level 5. Watson does have a level on top of him, but... Predators will be able to secure these uh, fire elementals. Left-hand side, we have an invade coming out onto the red buff, and you can see Barrage, they're going to smell it out, but they're going to be... No, actually, uh, a, a reset from BM. Well, Exum's going to get his red buff after all, it looks like. Ultimate, just to confirm it. Trying to uh, chase off Thor. Thor Ooh, hammered in. Hello. And, uh, a little bit unsure of whether the Thor would actually teleport forward. Um, that was awkward. Barrage had a numbers advantage, and... 
With the Medusa ult down, that's probably why they didn't go in there. But I think that might have been a good engagement even without the Medusa ult. At the very least, I mean, Fenrir could have forced a purification. Right. Uh, all, though, going to be rolling out and uh, knocking up a couple players. All electing to go into the sprint, so it doesn't have that blink for kind of the uh, instant uh, initiation that we see from mm -hmm. uh, some Geb players. And I kind of like that decision. He already has two players who can initiate or, or deal with the backline on his own. Focusing more on Peel should be better. I, I would also like to see a shell out of him. Uh, Team BM looking to sneak uh, a gold through. You More actually vision. saw Barrage uh, walk over to the right side of the jungle, and, and BM hears noticed it. that. Kronos hears it. He shows his face, waiting for the moment. Gold Fury low, about 25% HP, but he's crowd controlled. And he's just standing there like, mm, trouble with the curve. The release is good from Team BM, but now they're going in. Oh, picks up Slap Header. And what looked like a great situation for Team BM, they release the Gold Fury, they give up the situation, and then they die with their hunter. Gold Fury goes to wave Barrage, and the lead standing strong 2,000 already, Kevin. So here's the problem, right? Um, Farley's actually had the Gold Fury aggro. I don't know whether it was just reset to him or what, but then he tries to go and zone Jaron mm -hmm. on the Kronos, but the Gold Fury is now pulled more towards Jaron. It gets awkward. He's get taking damage. Jaron's going to outpoke him because he has more health. And then it's just reset, and then it's a very awkward fight. It's a free kill and a free gold fury for Barrage. Very sloppy from BM. 2,300 in the lead now, though, for Barrage off of that. Not a kill yet for Team BM. They came close once upon a time, but have not been able to find one just yet in the early minutes of this game, whereas Barrage have done pretty much everything else in the early minutes. And that's lead definitely putting them in a good spot to find themselves in the finals one more time. But as I said... Very, very early. It's just when I see a two thousand gold lead in five minutes, Adonis, I get That's rough. it's it's not the end, but it's definitely a sign of what's to come. I'm trying know? to figure out where that came from. Um, gold fury in a fight. Uh, yeah, but still that's sure. way too much for well, you 2, get five, like you get five hundred for first blood okay, by itself. Uh, that makes sense, you know? but still. Uh, not that many invades coming out airbrushed uh, and a little bit of trouble. A jump forward and Lycan looking for a nice use of purification. Very quick. Uh, but that's going to be a cooldown, on cooldown for 160 seconds. Like, and going to make sure to, to take note of that one. I love how quick that purification came out and how quick Bologna is willing to engage and go ham. Ultimate from Thor going to land right on down on top of the three. Barrage, look like they're undecided if they want to push this or oh, not. But with brushed. the Guan Yu horse, that's the confirmation. Thor's going to get stunned out. Talos good. And Airbrushed is down for the count. Mr. Turtle's going to suffer the same situation. Watson, we told you to look out for him, and he's showing why we said it. Predators, it's just a matter of time. Brutalize off cooldown here in a second. Uh, Knockup, uh, actually going to miss. There's the jump. One more Brutalize, and Predators will fall. That's going to be five kills on the board for Barrage. Zero for BM, and Airbrushed kind of uh, brutally left out to dry there. Actually, yeah. um, hammers forward into the team. Uh, not recognizing that it could escape lower. Tries to find the portal, it just, the Giannis portal from the ultimate, and just before he gets to it, it closes in his face. He's left alone, and Watson picks him off, and now Barrage take that tower as well, and it's a 3,000 gold lead for them, so BM, it's gonna be real hard for them to fight into this. Five minute gold fury, and a seven minute tier one tower. Like, that's out of this world, Kevin. I mean, that's All right, just I'm blowing you up. Please don't tell them. I'm blowing you up. So, <laughs> casters will take notes <laughs> during the game. And, and and that right there was Tom reiterating it for himself as he's writing it. But he doesn't have a piece of paper right now. He has a cup, however. F dot right now is writing notes on a paper cup. And right now I better take some more notes because Medusa is going to get smoked in the mid lane. Strong stun, but can they find a hit? No, Dusa takes a lot of damage and a couple of ults, but safely underneath the tower. Wow, Barrage good at offense and D. I lied, it was a foam cup, which is even worse. <laughs> I'm going to laugh when you poke a hole through it and, and like, well, I was, the water spills out. That's why I went up high. You know, you got to <laughs> – I want to make sure I can bring up how early these these objectives came out. Thank you very much. Somebody actually just brought me a, a pad. Uh, Right-hand side, Predators uh, in a little bit of trouble. He's half-life. Watson does have all, and we've seen this story before. And, uh, yeah, uh, Watson. Watson's going to take it. There's the first, the second, the third, the fourth. Predator's holding his ult. It's thinking he can get out in time. There's the Talo Assault. 
He's going to jump over the wall on a nice combination from him. Athena was there just in case yep. Watson decided to chase. I like the play from Watson. He dashes forward and continues walking in that direction, anticipating the instant, I got to ult on my tower to get away, and Watson would have already made up some of the distance. Mm -hmm. Luckily for the Bologna, Predators plays that very intelligently, waits it out. Here comes damage into the mid lane from Fenrir. All by himself is Turtle. Mr. Turtle, but a great portal! Giannis and Thor come through in the clutch, and they help out the teammate, get him away from trouble. Fantastic play coming out from Airbrushed and Farley's. Unfortunately for them, their damage is a little bit too low. Uh, only a tier one item coming out from the jungler here. Definitely looking for the Owen's Wrath, but mm -hmm. it's only a heavy mace right now. And Pin Boots as well, not online for Farley's. If they hadn't gotten so far behind early, honestly, right. these items probably would have been online and they wouldn't be able to turn that fight and find some kills. They're still looking though. Right-hand side Harpies are, are gonna be started up uh, and secured by Team BM. Easy going to be, a, easily going to BM. Barrage looking at it, but decided not to take it. Slow dished out by Slapheader, but he recognizes intelligently two he's two levels down. Doesn't want a box of Kronos. <laughs> That's a shimmy. He's like, no, thank you. Uh, yeah, throw it no. out to Polka, and Jaron just going to control that lane still. Over on the right side, jungles. Solo laners are fighting in the jungle more than they're fighting in the lane themselves. And, and I like that. It's showing that the solo laners want to they want to make the rotations, but they're just interrupting each other. I like that. And uh, you can see them both topping the charts. 5,000 uh, for Watson here. Just needs two more damage. Come on. Throw out an throw out auto attack. Throw out a Talo Assault. <laughs> Come on, hit the 5,000 mark, Watson. You can do it. He's going to sit there. Come on, do it, no, Watson. Dash there. forward. All right, it's not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but both soul is topping the charts. Left-hand side. Nothing's happening because he's already dead. Slapheader with his third death of the game. He's got his uh, stacking stuff on as far as that's concerned. Ninja Tabby, the selection for the young Shibalanke. How do you feel about Ninja Tabby? So I was talking a lot to, I believe it was Ataraxia, and um, more importantly, Caps Lock here. Uh, one of the QA testers, very good mm -hmm. with uh, the math side of things. And honestly, Ninja Tabby, I believe, is like a 5 or 10% DPS increase. I think it's like 5. It's very minor, but a 5% DPS increase um, after the first couple items into your Hunter build. So it's better late game, just barely, but the Power Boots are, are stronger in that mid. Combo coming out from Barrage. This time, Mr. Turtle is going to find another death. Barrage, very strong, and already at 12 minutes are grouping up as five in the mid lane. This might be the earliest just straight tower siege we've seen. Uh, Watson, he's going to be the front line, but oh, to the hope. back. Eagles rallied by Predators. And Team BM, they're surging for Thor off. takes to the sky, lands on two, but not enough follow-up damage from the rest of BM. And there's Guan on the horse. Farles puts his team on the board just shy of 12 Five. minutes. But Alexum's going to help the turnaround. Strong taunt might not be the guy you want to taunt as he brings Kronos closer and closer. Barrage lose their player. But so does BM. It's a one for one. This Barrage no, this still is has pressure. A one for one, but Barrage has Guan Yu dashing for Talo Assault Slap Hunter. He's gonna die. Watson is taunted under tower and should fall in return. But it's Worth. gonna be a tier one. And Watson at three, zero, and two does take his first death now. Uh, pretty big uh, for someone who uh, had a couple kills. Gonna be worth a lot of gold and experience for the bounty. Mm -hmm. I, I I think that's worth though, honestly. Just the the amount of, of map control that taking out that mid lane tower gives you the uh, the enemy opponent the the opponent just doesn't have a safe spot now right like when you lose your side lane towers kevin you can always come back towards the mid lane but losing that mid tower it opens up so many rotations that you're not going to be able to see Very vulnerable it's, it's such a problem uh builds Really worried here for BM, but uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Barrage starting up fire. Oh, no, they were just counter warding. Um, <laughs> so, Barrage, you, you, you take a look. Um, it seems over on the console uh, a lot of value in these Traveler shoes, especially right. coming out for the, the Guardians. Uh, you can see both Geb and Athena have picked them up. Now, I like the Urchin pickup coming out from the Geb. That's something that gives you a lot of protections. Oh, yeah. Um, a, a small number at base, but as you stack it up for getting assists or kills, it, it gets to be one of the most gold-efficient protection items in the game. Also gives you a lot of base help. Now, and it Athena, looks like Barrage want to stack that up for him. Now, here's my problem with Athena's build. Is she's gone Spirit Room. Okay. I love this item. Yeah. But the problem is that she has no health base right mm -hmm. now. She has boots and she has Spirit Robes. And while she'll have flat damage reduction against the heavy CC team of Barrage, the problem is it doesn't matter because the second that flat reduction ends, she's just going to fall over and die. She doesn't have any health in her kit. So what item, what item goes build. in place of that? 
I've, an urchin. Urchin. An urchin. Sovereignty. Uh, you can go bulwark early if there's a lot of magical damage. You just need a health. That's right. that's the biggest thing about support, right? It's so risky to not go health early. Mm -hmm. Sometimes what you'll see is the double, the double cooldown, which is cooldown boots and. Uh, Breastplate of Valor, which is 35% cooldown, which is uh, still not a health base, but it's a little bit different because then you have your mobility up. Exactly, different uh, ideas. You could also force stuff in fights multiple times. Thor's going to look to force something here right over by the mid lane. Or actually just use his ultimate more, the satellite. Um, wanted to make sure that the, the enemy wasn't really on Gold Fury and where they were in relation to it. Fenrir by himself going to bring one player under the tower. Not going to find the kill onto Airbrush not as Team BM comes into he's the not zeros. Uh, Watson, though, coming in from the corner looking, and he's going to find uh, Airbrush right there. Surprise, Watson. Just oh, And that's that's really what we're talking about when it comes to Watson. He's playing Guan Yu, which isn't, which isn't exactly mechanically intensive. And we're talking about how, how good Watson is and to look out for him. That's why. He's just always in the right spot. That's really what it's about. His rotations are on point. And he's going to be on zoning duty as Barrage... Start up this gold tier. You can see Team BM, they're circling it, but they may not be able to get there in time. It's already low. Barrage, they've secured it. Mm. And now, honestly, Belota in an awkward spot. Predators does have his ultimate here. Rally! And he's going to use it, but he might be in range. Oh, he's got the Traveler Shoes and Sprint. Can't close the gap, though. Just an uncontested gold theory. I like the I like the idea from BM. They weren't fast enough, but they came three-pronged approach, three different directions. Which way are you going to look? Belona's coming from one way. And perfect. Just too slow. <laughs> Just a little too slow, so Barrage able to sneak that one out. And the second goal to of the game, already dead by 15 and a half. And that gives Barrage a strong 5k gold lead, but hold that thought. They're going to add 500 real quick. Uh, the tower being taked up by all has his shield, and this should be uncontested. Actually, a teleport coming in for Predators. And I like this split push from Airbrush in the mid lane. Gets the tier 1 tower, and now the team's going to back off. Uh, and Barrage, they're on full retreat. BM can't really chase. So I'm going to derail the conversation a little bit. I know you've never seen me do this. Never. Never. AK all the time. Tangent, boys. You talked about how they couldn't catch up. Sure. For those who don't know, the April's Fool's patch notes, you want to know what Geb's rollout was? What? Has no max duration, has no <laughs> max speed, uh, and there was something else. Anyways, it's Geb, and he starts charging up, and he never stops, and he just keeps getting faster. Until he's so fast you can't even control him. So what, you like break through the wall and fly over to Clash or something? <laughs> you just keep going? Super that, would, that would be really good. Super monkey ball style? Oh, just, wow. What if, what if, what if, what if? What if? Instead of like a lobby where you pick your thing, right? You go into this world and there's doors. And as you enter the door, you queue up for that. Oh God. What if we like actually like three, like, <laughs> spoke about this man? Team. We're doing a good job. Barrage is up, right? 5,000 gold, 10 to 2 in kills. Uh, Team BM have nothing going for them right now. And this is this is just honestly. Yeah, I mean, they have nothing going for them. They had one nice fight in the mid lane that immediately got turned and they lost their mid tier 1 tower. Barrage are the best team on European console right now. And BM, they need to work on some stuff. Yeah, I mean, a lot of, a lot of players... Hmm. The term snowball is just overused. It, it really is, right? Yes. Like, a lead will lead to a larger... A lead, lead. will bring yes. another lead um, in, in any event. But this, it really is the snowball, where that 2,000 gold lead at five minutes just inevitably brings situations where you take fights where the enemy can't take them. And this is the perfect example. Predators trying to get out Roma Invicta just to keep them alive. And honestly, the team almost was able to pick up Lycan. Yeah. What's holding BM, honestly, into this game for me is Predators. Predators is doing a good job. We've seen it multiple times. Mm -hmm. Three, uh, four, uh, man, Eagles rallies, uh, doing a ton of damage. Bludgeons almost going off every single time. But now Team BM, they recognize they're down. They're going to try and force this. Thor's looking for someone to hit, but with the vision he's gifted from the ult, he's just going to look to section off Watson. You, you but don't want to invest anything into Watson right now. Watson is five levels your senior airbrushed. Walk away. Oz going to walk towards the opponent. Barrage has made their assessment to look towards the right lane. Oh, my word. Four, man, petrify. Waltz into the back as well. Going to find airbrushed. Shibalake in trouble. Can't find the hits. Watson having some trouble on the backside, but he's doing his job. Kill or no kill. The right tower's fallen. There's the kill. Two on the Guan Yu in that statement alone. Six in total. And Barrage continue it. Triple kill for Watson, moving him up to seven kills. 
And the first Phoenix of the game being aggressed on, like it's gonna try to do what he can. Mr. Turtle, Meditation not a big deal. is good for now, and now it's gonna be the Phoenix. It's gonna be surrounded. Watson uh, able to secure that and dash out. Turtle dashes forward, but man, oh man. Uh, you saw there Jaron completely out of position. Mm -hmm. um, gets blown up. You can see him try and rewind. He doesn't get it off. He dies. But what happens was all of BM were trying to kill him. Exactly. All four members grouped up. Beautiful Petrify coming out from Elixim. Finds them all stunned and immediately Fenrir jumps in and then it's just Watson to clean up. And that play right there, I mean, that's that's why I like Dusa in the, in the mid lane. And sure, at this point in the game, just under 20 minutes, <laughs> it's a little bit faster of a pace game than we're used to. But at this point in the game, sure, like you're out of the lane phase, but that's a mage. That four-man petrify, that's a, that's a mage play. That's why I like that that Yaman bringing Dusa in the mid lane because you, you, you want more of that single target damage out of your hunter. Dusa comes through, acid spray hits 20 people, petrify hits 30 people, 30. and everyone at the wedding is stunned. That's awesome. 30 people? Yeah. Playing casual competitive. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Turtle, half health, still sticking around. Meanwhile, Barrage, on the other hand, looking again at an objective. 20 minutes on the clock, and they're looking to put a 20,000 gold lead at some point. A very worrying chart on your screen. It's player damage. Watson Whoa. at the top. That's not what I'm looking at, though. At the bottom, Geb, 4,000. Three members of Team BM below a Geb support from Barrage. Slap header. Dead. Here you look, I mean, Athena or Thor being lower than a Geb? Athena, fine. Thor, depending on the no. game, if you're just playing crowd, like, you, you go 0-3 in the beginning and you're just full crowd control, sure, it's not ideal, but sure, the Shibalaki should definitely not be there. That's oh, a problem. 0-6 oh, and 3. Had it. Uh, not header, excuse me, Slap Header has not had the best game of his smite career. And now, Barrage, this is the one thing about console, especially European console, that a lot of teams struggled. It was kind of closing out these games. We saw it from the first yep. and second week, but Barrage seemed to have a much better understanding now, and they are starting to siege the second Phoenix of the game at only 21 minutes. They got one a minute and a half ago. Alexum takes out Predators, oh, and that's sorry. all, folks! Team BM says that they don't want to see any more. Barrage will continue on into the finals after a spectacularly fast-paced and well-executed game. That was, a, that was a very good game. Uh, BM definitely showing signs of life. I, I think uh, team fighting-wise, they're close. They understand right. rotations, but the individual uh, skills on these players definitely need some work. Slapheader having a really rough showing. Predators uh, looking, looking solid, though, against Watson, at least early. Vision also was a big problem for me personally. Watson really drove this play, really drove this game, whether he was in lane or in team fights, and it's really just all about the Guan. Uh, this was airbrushed. Just oh, he got this, that was just brutal. Uh, the <laughs> ultimate coming out from Giannis was uh, there. Uh, tried to take the portal through, but it closed just in front of him. That was going to be a double kill for Watson. I believe they do finish off Predators here. It's Lycan who finishes that kill. And then this triple, the four-man petrify, and Watson just goes straight to the back. Huge, da huge damage off of the ultimate uh, coming out from Guan Yu. People, I don't think they underestimate it anymore, but it definitely does surprise you a little bit. Uh, and uh, Watson, just really good play. Uh, best, pl best player right now in the European console scene. There is no one who's been able to match him. Sometimes you have players that can do okay in lane, right. but coming into team fights so less effective. Honestly, Kaji's the only one that I've seen, and actually, he was the opposite, where he actually matched the team fighting potential because of his Hades, but really struggled exactly. in lane against Watson. Yeah, rival versus cleanup crew will be the squad, the team is that 